welcome to signal and system lecture series here in this session i'll be going to explain time shifting property of fourier transform and to explain this these are my agendas where first i'll give you statement of time shifting property then i'll derive proof of that time shifting property and then we will see some examples to understand how to apply time shifting property in fourier transform so let us begin this session with first agenda that is statement so see basically if you have signal x of t and if it is having fourier transform x of omega then as per time shifting property you can say shifted version of time by x of t minus t0 fourier transform will be e to the power minus j omega t0 into fourier transform of x of omega so if you shift this by minus t0 you will have to multiply e to the power minus j omega t0 x of omega if you shift this by x of t plus t0 then here this multiplication will changes to e to the power j omega t0 into x of omega see that is how time shifting property is there so let us have proof of this property first so i'll derive proof of this first now see fourier transform of x of t is x of omega so x of omega that is fourier transform of x of t and basic formula of this is minus integration sorry integration minus infinite to infinite x of t e to the power minus j omega t dt so let us have fourier transform of x of t minus t0 so if i calculate fourier transform of x of t minus t0 then that has to be integration minus infinite to infinite x of t minus t0 e to the power minus j omega t dt now i need to have this term in terms of function so that i can be able to derive this form in terms of multiplication of this term into x of omega so to have x of omega i need to consider t minus t0 is equals to some terms so if i consider here t minus t0 as a variable like variable is equals to let us say a so here we can say dt is equals to da and even one can place t is equals to a plus t0 so if i consider t minus t0 is equals to a t is equals to a plus t0 and here limits will not change limits will be from minus infinity to infinity so now let us rewrite this so this fourier transform now that will be minus infinity to infinity x of a into e to the power minus j omega instead of t now i need to write a plus t0 da so now let us simplify this further so see e to the power j omega a that i am taking over here so i can say into e to the power minus j omega t0 da so this term is constant i can take it outside so e to the power minus j omega t0 into integration minus infinite to infinite x of a 
e to the power minus j omega a d a. So one can clearly say this is what Fourier transform of signal x. So this is Fourier transform of signal x. So we can say this is equals to e to the power minus j omega t zero into x of omega. So this is what we have proved. Fourier transform of shifted version of time x of t minus t zero that has to be e to the power minus j omega t zero into x of omega. So this is how we can prove this time shifting property. Now let us have some basic examples related how to apply this time shifting property of Fourier transform. So let me write here. The reason is I'll be using this formula. So by using this formula, we'll be calculating some basic examples. So let us have first example. Question is find Fourier transform of signal rect of t plus one. So here we have rectangular pulse. and our agenda is to calculate fourier transform of this now see we have seen some basic formulas of rectangular pulse fourier transform as well as i have derived this rectangular pulse fourier transform so fourier transform of rectangular pulse that we have derived even for rect of t we have derived it it is a Into two into sampling function of omega two by two, and here for this rectangular rect T we can say a is equals to one and two is equals to even one. So if it is the case, then this Fourier transform formula of rect of T. Now that will change is to one into one that will be one and sampling of omega by two, so that is what Fourier transform of rect function. Now our question is not rect Fourier transform of rect of t. Our question is Fourier transform of rect of t plus one. So if you apply this property, all we need to do is we need to add this term. so as we have seen the basic property we can say rect t fourier transform is sampling of omega by 2 then rect t plus 1 fourier transform should be e to the power j omega plus Plus e to the power j omega, that should get multiply with this Fourier transform that is sampling of omega by two as per time shifting property. So this is what our answer for this question e to the power j omega into sampling of omega by two. So if you remember this basic formula, one can be able to calculate some other Fourier transform of shifted version of time. Now see, I'll give you one more case so it will be more clear. Question is find Fourier transform of u of t minus one. Question is Fourier transform of u of t minus one. Now see, basically. we have idea about what is a fourier transform of u of t so fourier transform of u of t that is 
we have derived it it is pi del of omega plus 1 by j omega so if you shift this by time period t minus 1 then as per time shifting property we can say Fourier transform of u of t minus 1 that will be e to the power minus j omega into pi of del omega plus 1 by j omega. See that is how we can calculate Fourier transform. So now I hope that you have understood this how to apply time shifting property in Fourier transform. Thank you so much for watching this video. You can download this material from my application and you can go through description of all videos where application link is available. Download it from there and you can download this material in signal and system section in my application. Thank you so much for watching this video.